Hello and welcome back. If you're a Python developer that prefers using Windows and you want to follow along this course or run the project, you will encounter error and that happens because many Python software packages were not designed for Windows and they usually only work under Linux. To follow along with this course on Windows, I'd recommend that you set up Windows subsystem for Linux version 2.0 and as you can see I have Windows terminal and just configure PyCharm to use the interpreter from the Windows system subsystem for Linux. Yeah, if I run the tests here in my project, pytest dot it fails with this error. And if I open up PyCharm and try to run the, the project, it still fails. All right, let's use a, interpret, a Python interpreter under Linux. So I'm gonna clear this here and I'm gonna say pip install virtual env and virtual env is installed, then python minus m virtual env or directly virtual env movie tracker virtual env. This will basically create a virtual env under Linux and this virtual env will help you isolate your Python installations any packages or dependencies that you install will be installed in this virtual env and your system python will remain uncluttered so okay there's a problem no problem let's try again cd movie tracker vm cd bin then source activate this will activate our virtual env and now I can go to the location where my project is and then install requirements normally with pip install minus r requirements.txt pip install minus r requirements minus test.txt then pip install minus r requirements minus dev.txt. And now, a cool thing is if you already have Docker installed and you're running under Windows subsystem for Linux, you can check that you're running via Windows subsystem for Linux by clicking the settings icon general and use VSL2 based engine then inside the resource tab, you find VSL integration and you need to enable this integration. The cool thing now is that you can use Docker PS here in your VSL Linux box and it will forward this command to your Windows host. It will, it's basically integration. So you can access the Docker containers from inside the VSL host. Now let's run the test by using PyTest. As, as you can see, the test works. And if I run Python, um, let's see, Python muse, or let's just do main.py. You see the application started, and now we can click here one problem with Windows is that we need to do local host, so 00.1, and here it is, the application is working. Now let's configure PyCharm to use this interpreter. I open up PyCharm, and here you see Python 3.10, or if you don't have an interpreter configured, you will be given a the text will say configure Python interpreter. Another option to find this menu is to search by pressing shift shift 
real quickly and then search for Python interpreter and here in settings you see Python interpreter we have the current Python interpreter and we have add interpreter and this menu will allow us to add an interpreter running inside PSL so it found my Ubuntu 20.04 VSL instance I click next and here you see I can choose a virtual env a system interpreter or a conda environment now we can create a new virtual env or we can use the existing one the one which we created which is in uh, in home tennis and here is my movie tracker virtual env pin and I need to give it the path Python so I'm gonna give Python 3 I will hit create and now PyCharm is using the remote interpreter from VSL 2 hit OK click run and the application should start running and it does and if you want to fix this because we can't open up 0.0 .0 0 you can say localhost run again and if we click on localhost here here is our API and it's working now if you don't like to work to have um, PyCharm and an interpreter running inside VSL you can actually run PyCharm inside Windows subsystem for Linux I've already downloaded PyCharm here actually it's in my home folder PyCharm professional and I can extract it with tar extract file PyCharm professional and let's wait until it is extracted yes it is extracted we can go to PyCharm and here we can go to bin and now we can just run this pycharm.bash file and it will run pycharm and this pycharm is actually running inside our Windows system for Linux box it's not the pycharm from inside Windows it's another pycharm instance if you prefer that you can run pycharm directly from Linux and this will also ensure that you have um, the terminal already set up in working in Linux.